Wake up, wake up, and dream again. Get up, get up, sing with me, my friend. Olivia believes in dreams. Noah lives his dreams. We are the dreamers, come along, you'll see. Wake up, wake up, and dream again. Get up, get up, sing with me, my friend. Our dreams are the world we live in. We create the dreams we believe in. We are the dreamers and we love to dream. Hi kids, from A to Z, from East to West, I'm Hannah! And welcome back to Dream Again! Kids, remember the episode where we learn about carbon dioxide and that plants create oxygen for us to breathe in? Well, do you remember the plant I was trying to take care of? I must have done something wrong. Oopsies! Well, if there's one person who can help us out with this, then it's Miss Wigglesworth. To most humans, flowers are seen as objects to decorate homes, gardens, bodies, and more. However, flowers have a much more important purpose than decorating. Flowers are there to create oxygen, and for flowers to live, they need to get their food from sunlight, water, and minerals in the soil. Soil is a different word for dirt. But how do flowers create their food? What happens is the sun shines and combines with the carbon dioxide in the air, which the plant leaves absorb. Water, on the other hand, the plant gets through the roots, which are in the soil where we can also find minerals. This is the plant's food, and this gives the plant energy to grow and produce the flowers that make them so beautiful. So, without sunlight and water, plants will die. Kids, this time I made sure that I watered the plants and that they are standing close to the window, so they get enough sunlight too. Hopefully they will stay as nice as these. But how do I even call you? <gasps> Maybe Noah and Olivia know. Let's ask them. This is this is my big big garden. Yeah. <laughs> Zuna! Wait. Did those flowers just sneeze, kids? No, that was me. Oh, Noah! Oh, hi, kids! Oh, wow, I didn't even see you down there. Ha, 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 Oh, Kazuna! I, I think I'm allergic to... Oh, yeah. Do you have a tissue? Mm, no. No. Oh, maybe I should get my nose out of these flowers. Yeah, I think, I think that'd be a good idea. I think okay. you're allergic to one of them. I'm just going to lay them down. Okay. There. Wow. There we go. Oh, hi kids! Yeah, hi kids! Wow, I didn't even see you back there, Noah. The flowers were so tall. Uh, yeah. Yeah. How does your nose feel? It's, it's, um, I have a lot of snot in there. Do you know what allergies are? No, what are allergies? Allergies are when you, your body doesn't do well with pollen. <laughs> ha, ha, Bless you, like that. Allergies is the allergen in the pollen makes you sneeze oh yeah. and i thought for a second i was getting sick and i was like i can't get sick now nope. it's springtime i want to go outside and play so i've been outside for a long time and every day and then oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh wow yeah you really are allergic huh yeah i wonder I which one so. it is i don't know huh maybe we should try should we test them out oh okay let's test okay them let's out. test them out um let's smell can you smell? Smell this one. Is that okay? That, that seems okay. Yeah. Try this one. Mm. It's okay. And what about? Maybe like, these ones. Yeah, try the pink ones. Ah, ah, achoo! Woo! Wow, yep, that's the one, huh? It's the pink ones. <laughs> achoo! Woo! I, I think I need to give you these pink ones. Yeah. Do you want these? Oh, I do. Thank you. Here you go. Thank you very much. Oh, uh, and ah, uh, that feels so much better. Yeah. Uh, do you want Do you want these blue ones instead? I want blue ones. Yeah. Here. Blue are my favorite color. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Mm. Mm. Wow. Oh, they're so cool. Who knew that you were so allergic? Let me smell them. I want to see if I'm allergic. No. Ah. Nope. Nope. I still like them. 
What do they smell like? They smell like, mm, like sugary perfume. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, cool. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think today we wanted to show the kids what they need in order to plant some of their own flowers in their yeah. garden, right? Yeah. And what all the things are that they can plant in their mm -hmm. garden. And we can tell you what kinds of flowers these are. Like, do you know what these pink ones are, Noah? No, I don't. These pink ones are peonies. Peonies. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I think. What about the blue ones here? Hmm. You forgot? Okay. Yeah, maybe. Okay. maybe. What, what about these orange ones? The orange ones, those ones are gerberas. Oh. And what about the purple? Do you remember the purple? I don't remember the purple. The purple ones? Yeah, Easy. those? Yeah. Those ones are lilac. Lilac? Like, oh, I know lilac. I remember, I remember what your blue ones are. Oh, what are they? They're pansies. Pansies? Pansies, yeah. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah, I didn't either. It took That's me a minute. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So kids, if you want to plant these types of flowers, mm -hmm. all you need to do is get a couple of these pots. You see the pots that we got? Yep, up in the front. And you'll need to get some soil. Mm -hmm. And what's another word for soil? Oh, dirt. Dirt. Yep, just and dirt. And should they get that at a garden shop or should they just take their own dirt? Mm, I would just take your own dirt. But maybe if you live in the desert, you could get it at a garden shop because the garden shop will have better dirt. Yeah, yeah, and what's so special about the dirt that you can get at a garden shop? Oh, it's um, it's it's really nutrient rich. So, yeah. so what does that mean? It, it has means, a lot of food, right? Yeah, food for the plants, food right? Food for the plants. Yeah. So you'll need that, and then of course water. But water you have at home. Yeah. And oh, to make oh, it easy, oh. you can either use a hose mm -hmm. or. Oh, or a watering can. Or a watering can. Yeah. But but no, we forgot the most important part. Well, what's the most important? A seed. Oh, of course. You yeah, need to yeah, get yeah. seeds. So yeah. these flowers mm -hmm. from a small little seed mm -hmm. that you can buy, mm -hmm. you plant them into mm -hmm. the dirt, and then you water them every day. Yeah. Unless, of course, it rains. Then you don't have to water them. That's true. But if it doesn't rain, then you water then you them once a day. And then you just watch it grow. And at the beginning, I'm pretty sure, uh, first you have green stems coming out. Mm -hmm. And then the longer they grow, then one day, boop, boop, a flower comes. Well, we also have some butterflies. So these flowers mm -hmm. probably maybe attract some nice butterflies. Oh, yeah. But they can also attract, what, what else can they attract? Mm -hmm. Like bees, right? Oh, oh, yeah. They can attract bees. And the bees can then take the pollen from one flower to another flower, right? Yeah. yeah. And how about hummingbirds? I really love oh, yeah. hummingbirds. They attract hummingbirds and also come in so many different pretty colors. Yep. Mm -hmm. But kids, what you can also grow at home are not oh. just plants, but mm -hmm. what else can they do? Um, It's still a plant. So they can also grow cactuses. Oh, when it's really, really, really yeah, dry, yeah. right? Like this one over here on oh, this side. Oh, over there? Yeah, that one's a cactus. Oh, So okay. it doesn't need very much water. Yeah, that's pretty mm -hmm. cool. So they don't even have to water that one at all. Well, maybe once in a great while. Like a little, like maybe just a little small watering once every week or two. Probably okay. two. Mm -hmm. And then what about vegetables? Can they oh, also yeah. grow vegetables? Yeah, you can grow vegetables and fruit. That's pretty yeah. cool. Just imagine, mm -hmm. kids, you can grow mm -hmm. your own vegetables that you can gr grow and have grown. Yeah. And they're like spring vegetables mm -hmm. or summer vegetables and fall vegetables. Yeah. And then when you pick them, you can eat them and mm -hmm. have them for lunch, dinner, or even breakfast. Yeah, and, and the strawberries will grow too. And strawberries that you grow in your own garden taste better than strawberries from the store. That is very I true. Think. Yeah. Yeah, they're delicious. But I guess maybe mm -hmm. we do that at another day another episode or something yeah. like that i think we covered yeah. already a lot didn't we yeah i think the kids learned so much roses they are roses who would have guessed that i picked out noah's favorite flower and i love roses myself too i especially love to sing a long song ring around a rosy why don't we sing that together Full of posies, ashes, ashes, we all fall. 
Wow, kids! Now that was certainly a lot of fun. We learned how to take care of flowers. We learned about different kinds of flowers, and we remembered why flowers are important. Because they create the air we breathe. I hope you enjoyed our lesson for today. Have a wonderful Daisy Day, and I will see you next time. Bye. Hi there, it's Mikey. If you like what you see on Dream Again, be sure to hit the subscribe button and like us below. Thanks.